Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to watch Twilight. Now, since I watched, I think it was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and first saw Robert Pattinson in the movie for the first time, and I mentioned that I had never seen Twilight, I got comments saying that I should watch it, and I just thought, you know, why not? What's stopping me? Oh! Oh my god! The idea that I spun was to drink while I watch it, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I was going to do kind of a drinking game along with it, but I decided against it because I just feel like I'd, it'd be kind of a distraction, and uh, I do want to give this movie a fair shot and pay attention because there is a good possibility that it's not as bad as I've heard that it was. There is a good possibility that it is decent, that it is at least average i've really just kind of shat on twilight just because that's that was the cool thing to do all my life as far back as i remember like maybe the third or fourth grade there was a couple things that were cool to hate on twilight color pink and purple justin bieber even though i didn't have any real opinions about any of those things i hated on them to seem cool but now i'm gonna give twilight a fair shot and see what it's all about man so without any further ado i got the drink ready it's a little bit stronger i think i think i put a little bit more vodka in there than i meant to just i think simply for the, the dramatic effect of pouring it on camera but i'm gonna try to stick with it i don't know how often i'll be drinking it i don't want to get too plastered or i don't really want to get drunk at all really that to be honest just enough to have a good time so by all means pour yourself one if you're under 21 don't do that and let's get into the movie shall we now you guys i am going to be drinking this very very sparely because it's a small cup, and I put a little bit more vodka in there than I'm really meant to. If I drink this whole thing, you know, by the, the end of Act 1, this could wind up being a longer movie. I'm going to try to be as smart as I possibly can. I know of Kristen Stewart, Robert Pattinson, Taylor Lautner. That's it. In terms of cast. That deer is hauling ass! <laughs> Intercepted it. Kristen. Mommy, hold on. So I'm gonna spend some time with my dad. No, mom looks attractive enough. So in terms of story, I don't know really anything. Nothing, nothing. I think I know a pretty big story beat like towards the end of the franchise. I think I remember from when it first came out, my sisters and you know, the target demographic of my family. I feel like I remember something towards the end of the franchise, but it could be a different franchise. So we'll see when, when the time comes, if I re recognize it. One of the best things about Charlie, he doesn't hover. Charlie? Hold on, is that your, I thought that was your dad. You do not call him by his first name. Bella, you remember Billy Black. Yeah. There's Taylor. Yeah, bring it. Oh. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Jacob. Oh, J <laughs> oh, I've already got flashbacks to, oh, it had to have been third, fourth grade, man, the team Edward, team Jacob. Oh, it's cringe. Oh, it's cringe thinking back. Oh my god. Third grade girls, man. It's perfect. Are you joking? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eric, the eyes and ears of this place. Anything you need? Tour guide, lunch date, shoulder cry on. <laughs> Team Eric! <laughs> I ain't heard any about anything about no Eric's. Good damn it. No, 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 that's that's don't. You're uh Isabella, right? <laughs> Just, yeah, hey, I'm uh, I'm Mike Newton. <laughs> Mike, team Mike, hey, Anna Kendrick. Oh, I remember. I do remember it actually now that Anna Kendrick was in. Kendrick was in this. Are people from Arizona supposed to be like really tan? Yeah. Is that Maybe racist? That's why they kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> oh my God, the dialogue already. What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You don't need to pat her ego. That was terrible. And then my homegirl hey. Bella. Oh, your 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 homegirl. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Eric. <laughs> okay, so it's just becoming a thing to Okay. Sexual assault, huh? That's what we're doing here. Sorry, I needed a candidate for the feature. Features dead, Angela. Don't bring That's uh that's um bah, what's her name? Susie Crabgrass and Walking Dead. I don't remember what her name was in Walking Dead. I, Jesus. But she was Susie Crabgrass. Oh, God. Who are they? The Collins. There it is. Kind of keep to themselves. Yeah, because they're 
all together. Like, together, together. Um, like, together, together? Like... That's Rosalie, the big dark-haired guy, Emmett. They're like a thing. Uh, so many names are hitting sure me, man. Legal. Yes, they're not... Oh, they're, they're, they're actually... Related. Weird. And, um, she's with the Jasper, the blonde so one. Many, I don't remember name. any of these names. Jasper. Jesus. Jasper. I need to go back to taking notes. I used to take notes a while back. This is like when I, uh, taking notes would be great because they just threw like 10 names at me. That's Edward Cohen. He's <laughs> totally gorgeous. Where's his sister that he's banging? <laughs> like I care. Hair color looks really weird. That's only that's the thing that pops out to me so far about seeing him was just the hair color. Hello. Also, I haven't even gotten around to seeing the Batman yet. I was sick like the first three weeks that it was out in theaters. So I was like, screw it. I'll just wait until it's out on streaming and I'll watch it. So this is literally, well, not literally because I watched Harry Potter. But this is like my first like main role that I'm seeing with Robert Pattinson. It was originally going to be the Batman. But <laughs> it's this. So that'll be fun. Ew, I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Why is he like so weird and stiff and ew, what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> Why is he staring? <laughs> oh, he didn't like that. Or maybe he got a boner. He got some blood rushing. Been that close to a girl. I'm afraid you'll have to stay in biology. He really just tried to transfer out of that class because he had to sit next to a G -g 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 girl. <laughs> yeah, you remember me? God, thankfully I no. Santa, one year. <laughs> yeah, Waylon, she hasn't had a. There's a reason it was only one year. Four. I bet I made an impression though, didn't I? You always Ew. do. Why is everything awkward? I understand maybe some awkwardness between these two, dad and daughter. You know, they they don't really know each other very well. It seems. They're all very welcoming. Uh oh. Tell me all about it. Doesn't even matter. Yes, it does, honey. She seems very like upset about her first day, but to be honest, her first day didn't really go all that bad. It looks like she actually made decent friends. Anna Kendrick, that whole like friend group, it looked like seemed to man to know what his problem was. Oh right. I mean, I guess she would be kind of pissed off at that weirdo that was just staring at her all class and then threw a hissy fit. I thought vampires can't be out during the day. Is that like a thing that they're doing? Differently? I thought they're supposed to wear sunglasses during the day. <laughs> Dumbass. Security guard at the Grisham Mill got killed by some kind of animal. An animal? You're not in Phoenix anymore, Bills. What, they don't have animals in Phoenix? An... An animal? An... 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 an, an, an <laughs> I was wondering, did you have a, a, a date to... What's up, Arizona, huh? Uh, How you liking the rain, girl? What a dick thing to do. Man. Oh, no, that, that, that was really yeah, Eric, stick up for her, man. Hello? Hello? Oh, Separate and label them into the phases of mitosis. And the first part is I get it right. What was that about? You were gone. Um, I was out of town for a couple of days. Personal reasons. Yeah, I don't think you have to explain. You, you literally, this is your first words spoken to this girl. So you're enjoying the rain? You're asking me about the weather? Yeah, I, I guess I am. Is that okay? I don't really like the rain. Any cold, wet thing, I don't really... <laughs> okay. What the hell is this conversation? If you hate the cold and the rain so much, why do you move to the wettest place in the continental U.S.? Well, you see, as a high school student, I don't really have a choice of where I move. It's kind of up to my parents. It feels really nice. The hell was that? What was that close up for? <laughs> yeah, his eyes are yellow. I noticed that already. It's kind of the only color on his entire face. Of course, I already noticed it. You didn't need to zoom in on it. Your eyes were black the last time I saw you, and now they're like golden brown. Yeah, I know. It's, it's the fluorescence. Um... Their conversation is so, like, stiff and awkward. Like, that's not, I mean, I guess for, like, a, a, a shy dude who doesn't really talk to anybody, doesn't really talk to girls, I assume, yeah, you'd be kind of awkward. But, like, even the way she's talking, she's just, like, so slow and weird. Just doesn't feel very natural. Ew, that, that's, that's slow-mo. 
Whoa! That was actually, I'm gonna be honest with you, that was actually kind of badass. Holy shit, look at this guy. Whoa. If I've ever seen a vampire ever, this is one of them. Oh my god. He's a walking corpse. It would have been a whole lot worse if Edward wasn't there. He knocked me out of the way. I mean, he got to me so fast, he was nowhere near me. I wonder how secretive the Cullens are about being vampires. Like, do they take it serious about, like, hiding their identities? Like, is, is, is Edward gonna get grounded for, for saving her? Oh, okay, yeah, he is kind of... It's about all of us. Literally as I'm asking, look at that. Who is that? Hold on. Rosalie, hello. Can I talk to you for a minute? How did you get over to me so fast? I was standing right next to you, Bella. No, you were next to your car across the lot. That's right, gaslighter. No, I wasn't. <laughs> he actually is literally gaslighting her. Yes, I was. <laughs> You're not going to let this go, are you? No. Well, then I hope you enjoy disappointment. Ooh, what a line. What a bad boy. Hello? That's not that, that she's she doesn't that's not I was gonna say <laughs> I, I wasn't gonna put it past them to be completely honest. I wasn't actually a hundred percent that that was just a hallucination. Look at you, huh? God, I hate this guy. Do you wanna uh, go to go to prom? prom? <laughs> no, I'm going with Eric. Sorry. I'm going to Jacksonville that weekend. Uh, you, you can't go another weekend. Non-refundable ticket. Excuse you? What's in Jacksonville? Okay, dude. I, you didn't answer my question. Yeah, I don't, don't have, have to. Any mind, so. Thank you. That's what's in Jackson. <laughs> you at least watch where you walk. <laughs> oh my god. You seem genuinely offended that she tripped. Good lord. It's a worm. It's a worm. <laughs> <laughs> he's a high school kid. Yeah, he's a, he's a kid. We shouldn't be friends. Who said you were? Known her for like three days. Um, are you gonna be riding with us? No, I'll, I'll ride with you. And I don't just surf the internet. Eric, you stood up once, and it was a foam board. But there's whale watching. Eric is so too. cool. I only said it'd be better if we weren't friends. Not that I didn't want to be. What does that mean? Yeah. What? What? You're smart. Where are you going stay with away this? From me. Okay. Well, let's say for argument's sake that I'm not smart. If you were smart, you'd stay away from me. <laughs> Uh, it's such a weird line. The kid in high school that said that was like definitely the outcast. He was definitely the weirdo. He was definitely the school shooter. I keep thinking that Eric's gonna ask me to the prom, and then he just doesn't. Cause I'm going with her or him. Mm, you like stalking me? You're Probably. Average, remember? I think it's nice she invited him. Nobody ever does. Yeah, cause Colin's a freak. She got all right, that right, all right, Mike. You're first on his hit list. Cullens don't come here. What did your friends mean about, you know, the Cullens don't come here? You caught that, huh? Yeah, I caught it. I mean, it, it was pretty emphasized. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Gerald's back to his old tricks. Come on, Gerald. Come on out. Hold on. That's not... That doesn't look like a Gerald. That looks a little bit more attractive than a Gerald. Hello. <laughs> Yeah. That, not so much. Are these the evil vampires? Because it showed, I think, I, I, I assume it was Edward in the very beginning. He was chasing down a deer. Someone has taken out actual humans. I wonder if that means anything or, or maybe they all take down humans. I don't know. Whenever the weather's nice, the columns disappear. Oh, okay. So the sun thing does apply. All right. So it's just been rainy and cloudy. Gotcha. Okay, I like this one. It makes my boobs look good. Right? Nice. Hey, thanks, oh. guys. That makes that makes women feel good. Yeah. Bella, what do you think? Oh, looks great. You said that about like the last five dresses, though. Yeah, Bella, please, if you're gonna Bella, if you're gonna come out all this way, at least help contribute. Who the hell is stalking her, dude? She's not even in forks anymore. So if someone's stalking her all the way out here, that's just Hey, hey, hey. Oh, they're gonna have whoever's stalking her, either Jacob or Edward, they're gonna have them save her so that it looks less creepy. So that they have that to distract you from the fact that they've been following her. Oh, there we go. Get in the car. Okay, yeah, obviously it was Edward. Ha <laughs> ha! 
What the hell did he just do? Growl? What was that? So yeah, the movie is like, yeah, he's following her and stalking her to, you know, places out of town. But he did save her, so... I'm sorry I kept Bella from dinner. No, <laughs> we totally understand. I mean, that happens, right? Can't tell if they're happy for, for Bella or if they're horny for Edward. How did you know where I was? I didn't. Right. You okay, dude? Really? What? Did you follow me? It's not cute. I feel very protective of you. So you followed me. He's I was just trying to keep. Dude, he's just giving such psychopath vibes, man. I can read every mind in this room apart from yours. Is that why he likes her so much? Because her brain is empty? And you, nothing. It's very frustrating. <laughs> it's kind of just funny to imagine. She just got jack shit going on in her head. She's just so empty minded. I don't have the strength to stay away from you anymore. I don't. I don't know if that's a line that would work on a girl you just met like two weeks ago. But it worked for Bella, apparently. Bella liked that. It's such a weird thing to say. Edward's vibes are so awkward and weird. He just gives me like school shooter vibes. School eater vibes. Your hand is so cold. Your hand is so cold. Carla, what's going on? Hello, Dad. Carlisle. He called his dad by his name. That's an immediate, that's an immediate red flag, Bella. Come on. Animal attack. Was it the same one that got that security guard down in Mason? Most likely. Well, it's getting closer to town then. Bella. So if there's two dead bodies, presumably by the same exact attacker, because it, it said most likely the same animal attack in completely separate locations, then I think you can rule out it being an animal and just a murder, a murderer, a serial killer at that point. I don't think you can just say, oh, it was a freak animal incident. The hell? The hell was that? She saw some dead feet. She's like, whoa, my stalker has the same color skin. Whoa. Cold one. Maybe he was just cold. Maybe you're overthinking it. Maybe he was just cold. It is like winter-ish time, right? Could just, I think you're overthinking this. I think Edward is perfectly normal. I know there's a classic scene coming up. I don't know when, but it's gotta be coming soon. Where it's kind of like that scene from Breaking Bad where Walt's like, say my name, you're Heisenberg. You're goddamn right. There's a scene like that in this movie coming up. I would be concerned. I would be concerned seeing this. What is going on? Any teachers? Come on, man. That looks scary. How long have you been 17? A while. So if they were to get together, right? He can't ever age because he's a vampire. He'll be 17 forever. Say it. Say my name. Say it. Jesus, dude, relax. I feel like you're going to kill her. Vampire. Are you afraid? A little. You've given me no reason to feel safe in all the time I've known you, which is like two, two weeks. You won't hurt me. It's a gamble, Bella. You won't hurt me. That's a gamble. Is that like kind of like a wooden stake? You won't hurt me. Now, bind. Holy shit! Look at that! <laughs> this scene is like feet. He his feet kick up. Kind of awkward. Oh, that's right, the sparkling thing. The sparkling, I remember that. I remember hearing about that. You're beautiful. I don't know about all that. This is the skin of a killer, Bill. Right. I wonder how many of these lines have been lifted and recycled and used by some crazy kids in high school. Some really edgy kids. This is the skin of a killer. Oh, oh. If you know it's smart for you, you'll get away from me. As if you could outrun me! As if you could fight me off. If you just pull the, who's gonna stop me? If you scream, who's gonna stop me? I wanted to kill you. I've never wanted a human's blood so much in my life. Leave! Bella! No! Trust him! What? Don't. 
Faith, you, I just... I'm here. I trust you. No! I think he would know. Oh my god, dude. Bella's a dumbass. Bella deserves to die, to be honest. I like my own personal brand of heroin. That is not, like, that's not an endearing thing to hear. You remind me of heroin. If there are any drug I could pinpoint that you remind me of, it would be heroin. I feel like a, a smoother line would be, if you remind me of any drug, it'd be LSD, because you make me feel like I'm in a different world when I'm with you. you. Make me feel like a crack addict when I'm with you. I'm not afraid of you. I'm only afraid of losing you. I feel like you're gonna disappear. Dude, she's fallen hard, and she has fallen fast. Dude, they have like the, the same exact skin color in this feet. shot. So the lion fell in love with the lamb. What a stupid lamb. Yes. I'm sick, masochistic lion. I'm glad you acknowledge that you are a dumb son of a bitch. Could you imagine having to break up with him? I would be terrified. Like, how do you even do that? I was unconditionally <laughs> and irrevocably in love with him. Jesus. James Bond. I feel so bad for Eric, man. Eric deserved her. The sunglasses! Oh my god! I said that earlier! Vampires are supposed to wear sunglasses! I remember it from uh, one of the Disney Channel shows a long time ago. Not a long time ago. A long time ago relative to me. When they were in the sun, they just wore sunglasses. That was their solution. That's not his sister. That's when Carlisle found me, dying of Spanish influenza. Interesting. What was it like? The venom. Dude, God damn, it does, does he have to be so damn aggressive? But what Carlisle did was much harder. A sort of frenzy begins, and it's almost impossible to stop. I guess. I guess. But Carl Alice can see the future. Alice's visions are subjective. I mean, the future can always change. So then, it's not very uh, very reliable then. I'm gonna take you to my place tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, so you're worried, not because you'll be in a house full of vampires, but because you think they won't approve you. And that they'll eat her if they don't like her. Yeah, that's. I feel like they kind of go hand in hand. If they don't like me, then because they're vampires, they might eat the shit out of me. Even though they already established that his family doesn't eat, but it's an understandable like fear. Even though you know that they don't eat humans, it's still an understandable fear. Like, oh, no, no, I don't want to get eaten. Harry Clearwater's homemade fish fry. Good man. So I assume they're already werewolves, right? Is that guy in the wheelchair a werewolf? How does that work? What did you expect? Coffins and dungeons and moats? <laughs> no. Yeah. Not the moats. Edward seems to have now lightened up a little bit. Now that they're together, he can stop being so fucking mysterious and he can kind of lighten up. I like that better. Now that we got like the emo shit out of the way, it might not be too bad. Is that Esme? Is that who that is? Fellow, this is Esme, my mother for all intents and purposes. Hello, Esme! Mommy! She already ate. <laughs> oh. Badly, as in, I, I would become the male. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm Alice. Um, Alice! You do smell good. That Jasper guy is absolutely terrifying. And not in like an intimidation way. He's just like, just looking at him, I'm uneasy. I'll see you soon. Okay. Yes, please. Absolutely. Anyway, I think I was mentioning it earlier, but I got completely distracted. But with him being 17 and can't age up at all, what happens when she becomes much older as she continues to age and he stays 17? Can she get in trouble for that? Because you can't say, oh, it, it's not weird. He's a vampire. He's like 100 years old. It's not weird. No, he's 17 and you're 50. You're going to jail. How does that happen? Oh my god. They're probably not gonna cover that, but that's a big that's a big what if. God, I hate the windows. I absolutely hate I would I would need at least some curtains or something. I would just feel so uncomfortable. This kind of stuff just doesn't exist. It does in my world. So if she were to fall, how would that work? If she were to fall, like he can't like fly, right? So if she were to fall, he'd he'd jump down and catch her, maybe. I don't know. Because he can't, like, go fast when he's just falling. Now, now I'm just asking dumbass questions just for the, f just out of curiosity. It's just shit that comes to my brain. That is pretty cool. 
That is kind of dope. Here we go. Evil vampire time. Yeah, introduce me to her, baby. It's human. I don't know why they think it's an animal if they're like two separate attacks at completely different locations. What would be the odds that the same animal would be able to do that? I don't know. He just looks at you like you're something to eat. <laughs> That's funny. The hell is Mike like doing? God, I hate high school kids. Okay. What about any of these other yahoos in town? Anybody interest you? Eric. Hasn't he seen Edward kind of lurking around recently at all? I guess he works a lot. Indy? I bet he's smart. Is he smart? Jesus! No, he actually did no, it! I, I, <laughs> later? I guess it's less creepy, at least now that they're actually in, they're together. And they've admitted that they love each other. I guess that's a good trait of a Batman, is be able to come in and out that quickly without being noticed. Please, just come on. Come on. Please, just do it. Oh shit. Stop it. Oh my god. I'm sorry. <laughs> he got too horny. What the hell was that? Is he a virgin? Oh. I guess that's sweet. Just talking to her until she falls asleep. So he says he doesn't go to sleep. Does that is that by choice? And what I mean by that is like, can he fall asleep if he like decided to? Like he doesn't need to, but if he was like, yeah, yeah why not? I'll go to sleep. Yeah, he wanted to meet you, officially. Oh. All right. Bring him in. <laughs> <laughs> I like Charlie. Still got that pepper spray. When's that pepper spray gonna come into play, huh? Does pepper spray affect evil vampires? There's a thunderstorm coming. It's the only time we can play. You'll see why. I think I have an idea of what he meant by that. Thunderstorm coming, so that's the only time they can play. Is that like because when they hit the ball, it sounds like thunder? As May. It's time. Alice. Rosalie. <laughs> yep, I was exactly right. So if anyone were to hear that, they'd just be like, "Oh, it's just thunder." <laughs> Why is this actually fun? Why is this scene actually kind of cool? I like Alice's form. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> See, it's fun seeing Edward laughing and having fun. I feel like I'm repeating myself now, but like, it, it was so damn weird in the beginning. This is cool. Oh, here comes the opponent. Come on, give me her name, damn it. So weird how they're, they're just running normally, but they have to add like a kind of blurry effect to make it look like they're running fast. Ooh, badass. And this is Victoria. Victoria, Vicky girl. What and up, James. man? James. All right, that's okay. as boring of a vampire name as you can come up with. James, Bill, Bob, Dave. I'm the one with the wicked curveball. Oh, show me your oh, well, curveball, Vicky. I don't like James. Right off, right out rip, I don't like James. Oh, shit. You brought a snack. Oh, shit! Fight! A fight? Just like this? I think it best if you leave. <laughs> I can see the game is over. Vicky, you can bite me anytime. Oh, God damn it. Vicky's with James. Of course she is. How could I ever compete with her brother? It's all right. I'll take Esme. Carlisle's a good looking dude, but I'm sure Esme's been with him long enough. I just made this his most exciting game ever. Damn. It's never going to stop. Which we do. We have Kill to him. Move. Rip him apart and burn the pieces. Holy hell. It's the first place he's going to look. Oh, my dad is there. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. He can get killed. Oh, my God. He's going to kill dad. Yeah, why the hell are you even bothering taking a car? Just noticing him. Why the hell are you taking a car? That's not outrunning a fucking vampire, dude. What am I gonna say to him? I can't hurt him. Just tell him you're gonna go stay the night at his place. I, I don't want this. I have to go home. Aww. She'll come home. <sighs> Look, Bella, I know I'm not that much fun to be around, but I can change that. We can, Aww. We can do more stuff together. Aw. Oh, poor guy. 
like watch baseball on the flat screen, eat at the diner every night, steak and cobbler. That, that's you, that's not me. Come on, man. All right, I hate this. Bella, come on, I just, I just got you back. Oh, damn. Yeah, and you know, if I don't get out now, and then I'm just gonna be stuck here like mom. Jeez! Oh my god! Poor dad! Wow, man, I feel so bad. Come on, you literally did not have to do that. You did not have to hurt him like that. You could have just said, I'm gonna go stay the night with Edward. Maybe he wouldn't have been as supportive, but he wouldn't have been, he wouldn't have broken him like that. I hate that. You dumb. I hate you. I hate you, Bella. You should have seen his face. That's your fault. I told him the same thing that my mom told him when she was leaving him. That's what she said? Oh my god, that is such... <laughs> like, you did not need to have to take it to 11. You could have just said, I'm leaving, and just walked out the door. You didn't need to take it to 11 like she did. She didn't need to have to pull into the bag of tricks where she pulled out what her mom told him. That was just messed up. I hate her. No, Eric's... Eric's with... Susie, god damn it. Could you put these on so the tracker will pick up the fella's set? Why? What is she to me? Well, he's with Edward. She's part of this family now. Damn. We protect our family. Oh, that's so respectable, Carlisle. You're the best. Bell, you are my life now. I just don't understand why they use cars. I mean, I guess it's to fit in because they can't be seen just running super fast down the road. But like, you could take a, a more hidden path so that it's quicker. You're basically like standing still. You're like just standing, waiting for James and Victoria to get you. How much faster they are than a car, I'm sure. Damn, they went south-south. Holy shit. They were quick. Dude, there are like... It's a town of 3,000 plus, man. Like, you, he's got... I don't know what his heart on is for Bella. Edward said the visions weren't always certain. She's used to course people they're on while they're on it. If they change their minds, the vision changes. Mm. The course that the track That's kind of cool. Gonna... I took lessons as a kid. School I went to had an arch just like that. Was your school here in Phoenix? Yeah. So because you saw that, you end up going there, and that's where the vision happens. I'll, I'll explain everything later. I... Mom, are you there? Oh, they went after mom. Protected students' privacy very well. They went after mom. How about your old ballet studio? And I'll know if you yep. bring anyone along. Jeez. See, like. Why doesn't he just eat mom? Just drink mom's blood. You have her there in front of you. But he's just like, he. they did say it's like, it's like a game to him, you know? He, he wants to play the game and he wants to win it. He's in the middle of the game. He can't just quit and start another one, an easier one. Maybe it's just fun to go after this one. The movie started out very bad, but I think it's, it's definitely trended upwards, I'd say. I would be astonished if pepper spray worked on him, to be completely honest. But to make things more entertaining, we're gonna make a little film of our time together. Oh, God, it has nothing to do with this. It does, oh. yeah, it kind of does. His right pause feeble attempt to protect you. It was pretty feeble. That attempt was very feeble. He's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought would happen. Be kind of mildly annoyed. Instead, he kept you this fragile little human. It's cruel, really. Why is he monologuing like this? Why is he talking to her like this? Just do it. Ah! He really wants this feature-length film, apparently. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should be. But to be completely honest, Bella asked for this. He said multiple times, telling her to leave. Drink that shit. Oh, wait, he bit her. He just bit her. Yep, that's a bite. How come they don't have fangs? Why don't they show fangs? Enough. Remember who you are. Kill, no, kill him. No, just kill him. God damn it, Carlisle. Ah, oh, the temptation. Oh, Alice, you badass. What's my other option? Can you suck out the venom? How possible would that be? Her blood is clean. You're killing her. Edward. Stop. Edward! Ew! <laughs> nah, Edward, go for it. Go for it, man. Go for it. Treat yourself, Edward. You earned this. Well, when you fell, you broke your leg. And you lost a lot of blood. And you tripped. And you fell down two flights of stairs. 
Mm. Went through a window. Damn. <laughs> That's a story, I guess, to come up with. Very extreme. Well, he could have got away with, like, framing a car accident, maybe. Considering how uh, emotional she was when she was jumping into a car. I feel like that would have been more believable, but they seem to buy it. Do you mind getting Dad? Yeah, you owe Dad a monster apology. All right, Edward, wake up. Quit faking it, asshole. Where, where's James? We took care of that. About Vicky. I'm alive because of you. No, you're in here because of me. Does she have a big-ass bite mark? Oh, yeah, she has a little bandage there. Car. How do they explain that? <laughs> a big ass bite mark. Well, you gotta go to Jacksonville, so I can't hurt you anymore. Yeah, that was only like his second time hanging out with her family, and Are you s no. Was... Yeah, you probably no. should leave. You should leave. I, I can't. No, I, I can't. I can't just leave you. I, I know. Ew. Ew. You just can't say stuff like that to me, ever. Okay, this performance ain't it, Kristen. <laughs> This performance ain't it. They better show that apology to dad. They better not do that off camera. I want to see that. You son of a bitch. I'm pissed. I'll take care of it, Chief Swan. Uh-huh. Mm. I've heard that before. Last time he said that, she came home being an asshole to him and then ending up in the hospital. You look beautiful. Oh, he's so awkward. Poor nice. guy. See ya. Say, I love you, dad. Please. God, he seems, he seems so sad. Make any attempt at all to connect with your father. He wants you to break up with your boyfriend. He said, uh, we'll be watching you. That's kind of freaky. Sure thing. I'll take from you. <laughs> Guess I'll see you around. That's where it started, huh? That's where it started. I leave you alone for two minutes and the wolves descend. <laughs> I'll say off rip, if I were to choose either Edward or Jacob, it would be Jacob. Just because of how so damn weird the Edward relationship started out with. At least Jacob's like was seemed normal and nice with every single one of his interactions with her. Everyone just took off. God damn it, the weird couples here. I'm not gonna end your life for you. I'm dying. Already. This feels like such a romance novel dialogue. Ew. Ew. Ugh. I'm not gonna end your life for you. Ugh. I'm already dying. And you're ready right now? Yes. No. Just give her a kiss. Dumbass Bella. Is it not enough just to have a long and happy life with me? Not if you're 17 the whole time. Halfway through our relationship, I'm going to end up in prison. Well, that's sweet. That is sweet cinematography and the reflection of the water. I'm a sucker for shots that show shit happening, but it's in the reflection of water in a, like a puddle. Ew, that's the credits? Ew. That was terrible. That was a terrible transition to credits with the music and shit. That was just awkward. All right, so that was Twilight 1 out of 5, I believe. That wasn't awful. It wasn't as terrible as I was expecting it to be. It wasn't good by all means. It was not a good movie, but it wasn't terrible. Like a terrible, like I was expecting to go into this with like every aspect of the movie was bad. But I, that's not what happened. I feel like they did some things decently. I think the things that I think that they needed to get done right, they didn't. But there was some decent things that you could find enjoyment in. The whole relationship with Edward and Bella, weird as hell. It was built on some dumbass behavior. The entire first act, Edward, not endearing whatsoever. I don't know, but... Here's the problem, man. I'm not the target audience, you know, for this movie. You know, I'm not a... 13 year old girl so i'm sure they were like swooning over edward and how he was acting in the beginning like oh he's so mysterious oh i think in reality those kind of guys are the ones you like you do want to stay away from not because that they're lustful hot vampires no it's because they're just crazy they're psychopaths so i think that was their, their whole beginning of the relationship was very weird i think i think bella so far has been very dumb 
I haven't unliked Bella so far. She's just been making dumb choice after dumb choice. Like, she just met the guy, right? Like, she just met the guy. And she finds out that he is a blood-sucking vampire. And he's like, I really want to drink your blood. Like, no, you don't understand. I really want to drink your blood right now. I could do it in the blink of an eye and you wouldn't be able to say no. No one would be able to stop me. I could kill you right now. You need to leave. But then she's like, no. As a matter of fact, no. I trust you. <laughs> All based off what? You trust him based off what? Like, eh. It was, she's, she was terrible. She was, and obviously the stuff with Charlie, like the way she imploded on her dad, there was a different way to go about that. A different way to find an excuse to leave that house for a few days. You could have came up with like, oh, I'm, uh, with, I'm going to vacation with the girls or something. I don't know. Something. You did not need to like completely destroy him for that night. Like, I mean, yeah, you apologize to him. And I mean, obviously he still feels the effects of that conversation. He still feels kind of uncomfortable. He still feels like he probably isn't good enough to house her and be with her. And I don't know. It, I feel so terrible for the dad. And I, like, screw Bella, man. Screw her. The acting was bad. And, like, in almost all accounts, the acting was pretty bad. The script was bad. Oh, my God. The script was so bad. The dialogue, it got so cringy at some points, man. It got bad. I still think my favorite part was the beginning when they are like, Oh, isn't, isn't people from Phoenix supposed to be tan? And then Bella's like, that's probably why I had to leave. And then Mike thought it was the funniest thing in the world. Just that that response alone was terrible, terribly delivered and just a terrible line. But then Mike just sold it, oversold it, just going absolutely nuts over it. That was probably my favorite part of the movie. But I will say that I think it, it did pick up. I think although the pacing was quite bad, it, it really dragged in the first half of it. But when it got going, it, it did feel a little more fun. I think once they hit the baseball scene, it started to pick up. And like I said, during the movie, I think after they got past that mysterious stage of Edward and Bella's relationship, and they started to kind of lighten up and get a little more campy, I, I liked that. I liked their relationship at that point. And when it led into the conflict with these evil vampires with James and Victoria, I think it was good. I think that due to the, I mean, the pacing was bad. So, you know, you got one scene with them and then 20 minutes later, you got another quick scene with them. And then 20 minutes later, another one. And then 30 minutes later, you know, they interrupt the baseball game and boom. Oh my God, we're in the final battle. You didn't really get any time to learn any of these characters. Like you didn't even learn their names until you were already into the thick of the shit, you know, when it was just starting. So I think while the conflict was good, I think the, the tension was, it was entertaining. I think is the best way to put it. It was entertaining, but it would have been better if they had a little more time to develop these guys, which I'm sure they're going to do. I mean, they only killed off one of them. They still have Lauren and Victoria out there. So maybe, maybe there's more potential for that. But it looks like now they're, they're going to introduce Taylor Lautner family and the werewolves and all of them, the Keolite or whatever the hell. So that's an added like kind of level of conflict along with Victoria and just all that shit. Yeah, man. I don't know what much else to say. I mean, it was, I think it, I'd give it a below average, I think is the best way to put it. Below average. And uh, yeah, guys, I watched Twilight. And yes, you don't even need to ask. Of course, I will be watching the other ones. Off to a an okay start compared to what I was expecting.